Hello, and welcome to Aviation 101 with Laura. Today, we're going to talk about interpolating, and I have an example to show you that comes from some performance data that we use in our aircraft dispatch class that I teach at Letourneau University. It's an overhead view uh, looking down and using my iPhone to do the performance interpolation over, but I think it would still be helpful to demonstrate some interpolating um, that you can follow along with and understand how that process works. Now, I do want to give a quick shout out to this video sponsor, listener.io, which provides a safe space for online counseling that is specifically tailored toward pilots. So make sure you check that out in the video description. There's a link and you can use the code Laura for 15% off your first session. So check that out and then enjoy this example of interpolation using some 737 type performance numbers. 137,600 here, right? And 138,000 here, right? Okay, so it, it is getting heavier if I go at a colder temp, which makes sense, right? Colder temp makes me get more weight, makes me carry more stuff, okay? So I take the difference between the two, 138,000 here, minus 137,600. Okay, it's 400 pounds different, right? Between the two. Okay, dividing by how many degrees are between the two? Five. So yeah, 20 and 25, all right? So that is 80 pounds per degree, okay? You said it's 24, right? Okay, so basically is, is this number, I like to go to the closest one, but it doesn't really matter. You can do whatever you want. But if it's 25, one degree colder than 25, I get a little more weight, right? Because it's slightly colder than 25. It's only 24, okay? so. 137,600 plus 80 pounds for that one degree, and that would be the correct answer. Let, let's do it again. Let's pretend it's 16. How about that? All right, let's pretend it's 16. Okay, so now it's 16, and just for kicks, let's just do it on the climb limit. See, so over here, I got my climb limit, right? Because it's the same for all runways. Okay, now let's pretend it's 16. That will make it a little harder. Okay, so how do I do it? How do I do that? Well, all right. What's my climb limit at 20 degrees? I'm pointing at it with my finger over here. And so we have at 10 degrees, it's 131,900, right? Okay, and what is it at 20 degrees? 131,500, yep, okay, 131,500. Okay, 400. How many degrees are between 10 and 20? 10, all right, so 400 divided by 10. Do that in my head, but 40. 40 pounds per degree, right? And I said it was 16, right? Okay, so now I have to ask myself, do I want to go up six degrees from 10? Or do I want to go down four degrees from 20? I can do it either way, right? Either one gives me 16. 20 minus four is six, or 10 plus six is 16. I think I just said that wrong. 20 minus four is 16, or 10 plus six, is 16, right? So which would you which would we like to do? Well, what I'm saying is either of those options works, okay? So like from 20 degrees, right? I can go down to so 19, 18, 17, 16. I go down 4. And every degree is 40. Okay, or I do 10 and I'm like 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 
right? So we can go up from 10. 40 per degree, right? 10, so we're going up 6. So that would be 40 times what? Times 6, okay. And I got 240, all right? So now I say, all right, right, I went, take, I took 10 and I went up toward 20, right? So now I have to think, okay, 131,900, I'm going to subtract 240 from that, right? 131,9 minus 240, 131,660. Now I stop and check. Is that between those two numbers? Yep, it is. Thanks for watching Aviation 101 with Laura today. I hope you enjoyed that interpolation example. It's pretty quick, it's what we do in our class. So if you wanna find out more about that or me, just check the video description, check it out in my channel, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more aviation content. Have a great day.